Hey everybody, this is Mind Body Connection where we talk about books that can improve your life. Today we'll be talking about Minimalism by Joshua Fields Milburn and Ryan Nicodemus. When people hear about minimalism, they think it means to get rid of all their stuff, but it's not. Minimalism is getting rid of the excess in life so you can focus on what's important. And what's important is your health, relationships, passions, growth, and contribution. We will talk about each of these areas in detail. Minimalism is knowing that you're not going to be happier by buying more. We only have one life to live, but too often we spend it doing work that doesn't make us happy so we can buy stuff we don't need to impress people we don't like. We are bombarded every day with 5,000 ads telling us to buy this or that, telling us what we're supposed to look like and what we're supposed to have. We get caught up in our stuff and we lose sight of what's important in life and we forget that true happiness comes from within. We forget that the real meaning in life is within our relationships. It's not within our things. Minimalism is a tool to eliminate life's excess and focus on the essentials. These are the five areas to focus on to live a meaningful life. First, your health. This means to eat healthy and to exercise, but not because you care what others think of your body. The only thing that matters is what you think of yourself. You love yourself, so you zealously inspect all things which enter your mind, body, and heart. You don't have a diet or any short-term fixes. You exercise because it makes you feel great. You eat healthy because you want to wake up every day feeling energized and excited to start that day. You have the presence of mind in knowing that you're doing all you can do to take care of your health. Number two, relationships. First off, you have a great relationship with yourself. You realize your past is not a life sentence. You love the way you are right now in this moment, but you're always striving to be the best version of yourself. You live with integrity, so there is no difference between your personal life and your public persona. When it comes to your relationships with others, you always do more for people than they expect. You tell people the positive thoughts you have about them, and you believe your relationships are a place where you go to give, not go to take. Number three, passions. You spend your time cultivating your passions, the thing that gets you up early and keeps you up late, the thing that you love to do. Think about this, if you had $10 million deposited into your bank account right now, would you keep going to your job? If you say no to this question, then the job you have is not your passion. Find the thing you would do, even if it didn't give you any money, and spend your time doing it. Number four, growth. Growth means you're always working towards being the best version of yourself. Because when you're the best version of yourself, you can contribute to others in a more meaningful way. You're always reading, traveling, and learning so you can develop the tools to impact other people's lives in a positive way and you can also help yourself and improve your own life. Number five, contribution. Your contribution is what you do to help others. It's not only giving your money, it's more importantly, you're giving your time as well. The author Jim Rohn has a great formula for spending money. It's called the 70, 10, 10, and 10 rule. It means that you spend 70% of your income on your expenses. You invest 10% on yourself through books, seminars, and things that make you learn. You save 10% and you give 10% away to those who need it. But contribution is not about just giving money. It's about giving your time as well. So you find organizations that you can help, people who need your help, and you spend your time making a positive impact on other people's lives. Remember that growth and contribution are tied together. The more you grow, the more you have to give. It's an incredible cycle. Unless you contribute beyond yourself, your life will feel self-serving. A life without contribution is a life without meaning. I really hope you check out this book. They also have an incredible documentary on Netflix. And remember that minimalism is getting rid of life's excess so you can focus on the essentials and find fulfillment. Thanks for listening. And if you'd like to hear more book summaries and some of the best books to improve your life, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks again.